In many cities, slums are reaching epidemic proportions. Multiple families crammed into one small room. Human waste pours into the streets, alleys, and open courtyards. People were crowded in. There were windowless tenements. Sometimes you had no internal plumbing, just privies in the basement, in the backyard. And the Lower East Side during these years was the single most crowded place in the entire world. Jacob Rees, Danish immigrant, crime reporter, photographer. He gets leads for stories from Chief Inspector Burns. Now, he's about to expose the hell of tenements. Jacob Rees knows what it's like to be poor. 15 years ago, he lost his job in a stock market crash. It's midnight, but Rees has a new technology that will change the public perception of poverty forever. An explosive powder that produces enough light to photograph in the dark. This is one of the first ever photographs of slum life. It shocks millions. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jacob A. Rees. This is how the other half live and die in New York City. Magazines refuse to print his work, so Reese puts on his own magic lantern shows. His mission, to show the nation's wealthy something they've never seen before, filth and desperation on their doorstep. At this block, nine dead were carried out this year alone. Five in baby coffins. What he demonstrated was that there is another reality, uh, that all that prosperity didn't trickle down all the way to the bottom, and there were some deplorable living conditions. And this country was not just forced to confront those conditions, but then was moved to begin to deal with them. Reese publishes his pictures in a book called How the Other Half Lives. It will sell more than 28 million copies. Within two decades, the worst of New York's slums are torn down. Tenements sell at auction for as little as a dollar. Reese's campaigning forces all New York schools to build playgrounds and landlords to install toilets inside apartments, not outside. It is the first step in tackling the slums.